All right, y'all. Um, I'm going to make a quick video, see if I can help you guys out with your cat production and quality. Um, I'm working with the EM1010 Vacoma, and I work a lot with the Richardson 112 model caps. They're really structured, as everybody knows, so they've got that bounce to them that causes your needle to break. So that's the first thing I'm going to show y'all is how I set up my cap driver in order to try to reduce the bounce from that hat as much as possible. Um, so I've got you set up so you can see what you're going to need is your Allen screw set and possibly your pliers just to make it a little bit easier. I've already loosened mine. It's the second key. I've already got mine loosened. So when you come in here, you see there's bolts back here. You got the camera set up, one and two. There's also two more on the other side over here. So you gotta loosen those. If you can't get it loose, if it's really tight, you can grab your pliers and try to use those to help you break it free. So I've got mine loose already, as you can see. They're spinning freely. They go and do all four of them all the way around. And they're a little tough to get to, but you've got a good enough angle. Mine's not long enough to go straight here. They won't reach, so I come off to the side and go in, and you still got a good enough angle to tighten and loosen it right there. So once you got it tight and loose, what you want to look at is this gap right here. I don't know if y'all can see this. It's in between the black piece of this cap driver and your arm. And you can now drop your driver down to that arm. So you want to get as close as possible to the arm as you can. Like a hair away from it would be perfect. Um, otherwise you'll scrape your arm. I've got my arm a little scratched up right now, but I really like to get as close as possible as I can. Let's see. And you can even move over because there's screws yeah I hear those screws barely scraping it there's screws to either side there's bolts on this side and bolt heads on this side they're really small that are a little bit lower than this black thing so getting that black thing lined up while you're still centered you'll still scrape your arm a little bit so we'll go with right there. Now I've got it really close. Trying to see if I can get y'all to be able to see that. I've got it really close to that arm. And you can even see where I've got scratch marks on mine from getting too close sometimes. A little cosmetic damage that's all right with me <clears throat> we all got a little cosmetic damage you know what i'm saying all right so that's that once you get it where you want it go in and tighten up don't forget to tighten it up or you go really have some issues all right move it side to side Good. 
good for me. All right, now that is gonna put your cap at the optimal position to keep your structured cap from bouncing too much. If you work with a lot of cloth caps or soft caps or anything like that, it's not gonna have as much bounce and you're not gonna have to worry about dropping that. But I think you should drop it anyway because it's not gonna hurt your flat caps or your soft caps, whatever you call them. Um, but it'll definitely help improve with breaking needles on here. That is one of the one of the leading causes of your needle breaks is that, but also is mounting your hat. So I'm gonna stop this video and I'll start a new video and we'll talk about mounting the hat.